threat of disaster is never pleasant. Welcome to the Casual Preppers Podcast. These safety measures are essential. The only place for prepping, survival, and entertainment. This will be your source of survival instructions and information. Every member of the family must be coached in the business of survival. Here are your hosts, Cam and Kobe. Oh yeah, let's get out of here. Hmm. Yeah. 30 items. Yeah, man. 30? That's what we're going to talk about. 30 survival items. But here's the thing. Not 30 items all for 10 bucks. No, no. no. <laughs> well, you probably could on Amazon somewhere. That's true. Timu or whatever. Yeah. Um, 30 survival items under 10 bucks. Yes. Each. Each. Right? There you go. Because, I, I, you know, sometimes it's like, hey, I don't got a lot of cash, but I want to bolster I wanna my start s- adding press. some stuff. Yeah. So we thought it might What's be kind of fun. the best of the best? We're gonna tell you. We don't know if it's the best. <laughs> yeah, but, I don't know. But under ten bucks is the best we could come yeah. up with. Right. And before we start about like mm-hmm. to talk about this, we wanted to say that we didn't just go. I mean, you could literally go find mm-hmm. on some like you know what Alibaba or whatever. The crap <laughs> yeah. Go. You yeah. go find seventy five cent knife or something. Yeah. No, we tried to look a little more quality and actual yeah. um, products from places you'd normally shop. Yeah, and it could be useful, actually, right? Exactly. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, if you really want to get some great products, though, just go to Battlebox. It is so easy. It is the monthly subscription box full of solid gear for adventure seekers, survivalists, outdoor enthusiasts, and casual preppers. Each month, Battlebox sends you the coolest selection of hand-picked outdoor survival and everyday carry gear, all valued at far more than what you'd normally pay. You never know what's in the next box, but here is a sampling of what users received this month. The Batterix Power Card. Boom. Mm. The Climate Versa Blanket. Mm, Boom. Yeah. All this badassness <laughs> starts at just $34.99 per month. They've shipped over a million boxes and won best subscription box of 2020. Our listeners get a free knife when you sign up at tribattlebox.com slash casual preppers. I mean, where else do you get free knives? Seriously. Like almost nowhere. No. I, I looked at Walmart, didn't get a free knife. So looked you at don't Maverick. have to spend 10 no. bucks. Yeah. You're going to get it for free. 35 bucks. You're free. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So use our code casual preppers. Get that free knife. Yeah. Right. I want them to send me a big old sticker because mm-hmm. my trailer is like 90. 90- Five percent, yeah, all battle box gear. I know it's crazy. You should just be branded battle box, <laughs> <I> right? <should. laughs> Listener reviews starts now. You can usually tell when it's a guy that reviewed the podcast. Oh, why is that? Because like the women's like a paragraph, oh, I- <laughs> like breaking down like how they feel about it. Yeah, the men are like, "It's a good one." Listen, <laughs> yeah, I listen. You should. Okay, bye. <laughs> Kevin Starch Man. I think I'm a starch man. My shirts are nice and straight. Look at that. Brush popper. <laughs> Remember brush poppers? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. They were so cool in like the mid 90s. Uh, yeah. Garth Brooks wore them. That's yeah, why yeah, I wanted one so bad. I actually I had one. It was like maroon and purple. That looks freaking awesome. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> well, what other colors <laughs> would it be? Checkerboard, maybe like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This podcast clears my dirty little ear holes, all while making the fall of Western civilization somewhat enjoyable. Nice. Thanks, Kim Starchman. Yeah, Starchman. Starchman. Star- it's, st- it's pronounced Starchman, not Starchman. It's actually S.T. Archman. <laughs> S.T. Archman. It's like St. Archman. <laughs> like Everybody always yeah. has like a weird way they say yeah. their last name. Starch- I don't know if I mentioned this on the podcast. And you can even look it up. Okay. There's a urologist uh-huh. in Taos, New Mexico. Okay. I did a rotation with him. Yeah. Um, he's a okay. He's a urologist. Yes. His last name mm-hmm. is Doctor Pronounced Coburn, <laughs> but it's C O C K man <laughs> or or burn. Yeah. Cockburn. Cockburn. That is the perfect urologist. Wow. Name. Yeah. Look him up. He's actually really good. Hey, but, Dr. Um, Cockburn. He's always like, that's Coburn. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> sure. It's exactly <laughs> what it is. Uh, I was uh, like, that's that's pretty nice. unfortunate. That is unfortunate, but perfect, actually. But Starch Man's better. Yeah, Star Shaman. Um, if you guys want to be a part of this portion of the podcast, go to iTunes, go to Facebook, leave us a five star review, and make it awesome. It's a mad, mad world. I, I couldn't go without talking about this Titanic submarine. It's insane. I, I debacle. Yeah. Dude, uh, it's I, nuts. I, I've been interested enough to like keep looking like, are they going to find them? Uh, yeah. Like, it's interesting. Their air is gone now. Yeah. It's right? done. The creepy thing is like the banging and like, yeah. like if radar's really picking up something from them or what. It uh, might just be a Titanic ghost <laughs> down there banging the, on something. Like, 
you try not to laugh at like the TikTok posts. But I know people are pretty creative. Yeah, they're doing some good stuff. Pretty right? crappy. Anyways, like yeah, yeah, there was a little like home. It's like kind of like a homemade deal. Like there's so much stuff going on behind the scenes on this thing that is really odd. Like the guy built this like with not normal specs that you normally would build something like this. Like there's experts that are like, I would never in a million years go down in that thing. No. And the guy was like, hey, everybody's too worried about safety. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he says before. As he's charging his controller. <laughs> he did use a controller. I know. That's what's scary to me. I'm just like... It's like a Logitech controller or something like mad that. Mad cats. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Got this from Walmart. <laughs> yeah, actually, you got a power pad It's a turbo in pad. Don't worry. <laughs> I got a power pad. I use my feet. We just run real fast. <laughs> like we're playing track <laughs> and field. Remember that? <laughs> or it's like the Wii one. You yeah. keep stepping. And then he's got you like... make it look like you're walking. He's got the, he's got the glove. That's what he's That's doing. I was going to say, the glove. <laughs> yeah, the glove, man. Yeah, you just look like you're swimming and the, and it goes forward. Yeah. If you want to back Swim up, this just way. put your hand up. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it, unfortunate. I mean, it's unfortunate. It is super unfortunate. Because like there's like a billionaire down there with him and his son or something. Terrifying um, way to go. And then his stepson... Was just seen at the Blink One Eighty Two concert. He's like, I'm getting all this money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> heck yeah! Look at me. I want to go see some pop punk and didn't like him anyway. <laughs> I thought that was super weird. Good too. riddance. I was like, okay, Did you well, see not though? Concerned. Also, that now they've found a um, Simpsons episode that pretty much uh, predicted this. Oh really? Shut dude, up. No, that's like the like. There's like 10 of those. I know, there? dude. We, I, I keep saying we need to do an episode on the Simpsons predictions. But there was a, a, an episode where like Homer meets his long lost father and he's like some guy that that's go that builds submarines and goes down in and they get lost and they get stuck in the submarine and Homer runs out of air. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Are yeah. you serious? Uh-huh. Pretty weird. Uh, huh? Yeah. That's yeah. creepy. Yeah. Well, um, here's an interesting little tidbit. Okay. Bill Gates venture firm. I sent this to you. Oh, okay. uh, with backing from Jeff Bezos mm. and Jack Ma, you know, yeah. Alibaba. Alibaba. Uh, just minted a one billion AI unicorn that uses machine learning for mining rare earth me- uh, metals crucial for EVs. Mm-hmm. So, what we heard before, uh, like most of these really like uber rich people are kind of like, we need to do something to get in the way mm-hmm. of AI and yeah. slow it down because this is terrifying. But we're going to yeah. build a unicorn. We're going to build this <laughs> machine that can mine EV uh, materials, probably yeah. to build more robots. Yeah, I know. And take over the world. So, uh, Cobold Metals, a Berkeley based mining company mm. uh, that uses artificial intelligence to mine for rare earth met- elements, has closed out funding round. Uh, that crowns it the AI unicorn worth $1 billion and ropes in some Jeez. of the biggest investors in the world. The $200 million round reported in Wall Street Journal included money from Breakthrough Energy Ventures, a Bill Gates-backed venture capital firm, and then also Jeff Bezos and Jack Ma. Hmm. Other investors included um, massively influential VC firm Andreessen Horwitz and Bond Capital, uh, Mary Meeker. It's just like all these hmm. going in on these projects... Makes it pretty scary. It does. I don't think Elon <laughs> got in. Elon's pretty worried about AI. Yeah. I think he actually has his eye on this. Like, uh, we got to be better. Be yeah. careful. The demand for lithium, nickel, cobalt, and copper is on the rise. By 2050, uh, cobalt predicts there will be a 12 trillion gap between supply and demand. <sighs> so. Yeah. That's time to invest. In and the some... other thing is, have you seen those TikTok videos of the mining cobalt, those oh, mines in like Africa? They're, they're like. There's no humans in this. The whole thing's hu- it's like all humans. looks like an ant hill. Yeah. There's no there's no uh, robots or machines. And that's it's just people. In that's there. to get these phones, man. Yeah, yeah. Like these phones and and your EV and like it's insane. It's a crazy so, process, man. Yeah, it is. We're gonna have to start mining asteroids. Yeah, that's, seriously. Like, I don't like, doubt keep that's doing the, this kind of stuff. Well, that's probably why they're going to the moon. See, do we have anything up there that we can use? Oh, I do you know what I mean? Yep. Like that's what's going because they're going back to the moon, right? Like yeah. that's all scheduled. I don't know, man. They're gonna start mining it. <laughs> Send that unicorn out there. I know. Yeah. The AI is gonna build its own like world out there, yeah. and then just come and attack us. Mm, so oh, much man. fun! Can't it's wait. It's gonna look like a big Death Star. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Pretty soon. But that if, crater always been there. Yeah. If you guys want to be ready for this. You need to get prepared. And to do that, you need to buy some gear. 
And how about some cheaper gear? Super cheap stuff. That's the thing. Like, a lot of times we talk about gear that some, it's just, it's expensive. Yeah. You know, a lot of it's it exciting, is. exciting, but it's out of reach. It's out of reach sometimes. But, like, we wanted to do a list of gear that's actually useful that you can get for under 10 bucks and feel pretty good about it. Yeah. Right? Maybe not all of these are, like, you're going to feel great about, but most <laughs> of these you're going to feel pretty good about, right? Yeah. No, um, I think it's a good list. It's, it's a lot of common stuff that yeah. sometimes you just overlook anyway so exactly kind of like an overlook slash yeah. bargain bin exactly so we we tried to break this down into different types of categories a l- there's a lot of overlap so um we're going to start with the home preparedness items yeah but there's overlap to, to some of these other categories so we'll just go with it i, I bet you you could take this list mm-hmm. and go to ace hardware slash smith and edwards yeah it's like a big uh, for sure yeah <laughs> it's like a big Ace Hardware and um, what it's an Army Depot and yep. like and all these bins. Pretty sure all these bins would have all the stuff that we have. Hundred percent. So uh, home preparedness list. The first one on there, flashlight. Yeah, man. Can you get a good flashlight under ten dollars? Can you? You can. Okay. <sighs> so I love Coast stuff. Yeah, Portland it, Coast. Um, mm-hmm. It's quality. Uh, it, they seem to like the, utilize the power really well. And get your cursor off. Well, I, I was hoping it was a link so I could look at it. Nah. I made mine links so you could look at them. I, yeah, I meant to. That's all right. You're good. But the Coast G22 is a 100 lumen um, bullseye spot beam LED pin light. So pin lights, um, I have several. Actually, I have one on me right now. Oh, nice. Because I, I use it at work all the time. Looking oh, at yeah. tonsils and ear holes. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's, they're just so much more convenient. Oh, I think I actually have this one. Yeah. I might have this one. Oh, yeah, because they sent us a whole bunch. I didn't get their pin. That's probably the one you do have. It's a little bit bigger than a pen light, though, isn't it? Yeah, I would say it's more like a hot dog. Yeah, it's more more like a hot dog size. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. If you love carrying around a hot dog, you're going to love this coast. I do every day. Yeah, so, but this is a, like, um, their stuff, I really like their, I guess you've used this one, so. Yeah, I mean, it's solid build stuff. But it's pretty bright. Really good pricing. Yeah. Like, it's hard to beat. Um... The highest lumen that I could find was around 100. Well, I shouldn't say that. Like for a pin or a handheld flashlight, it was around 160 to 200 lumen. That's which not is, bad. No, that's not bad at all. Oh. There is this one um, that could start a fire in your house. I don't know. It's called the Jeagle. Jeagle. <laughs> Jeagle. <laughs> LED mini um, cob flashlight. Okay. Thousand high lumen brightness keychain light. And it's I don't think $10? it's a thousand, but it's under ten. Yeah, it's about nine, nine, nine. It's a little square, like keychain. It has like a little carabiner type oh, right. hook on it. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. There's options out there. You're just gonna have to try them. But they, if you want to go with like a brand, um, I did see Olight has several little pen lights, mm-hmm. and I have always liked them. But the Coast G22 is a really good pick there. So. Yeah, it's a great pick for under ten bucks. And and again, this is need some lights, man. This isn't the home preparedness category, but like this could go into bug out bag. This could go into EDC. This I don't is how much this one is. This could go into vehicles. Like this, yeah. these cat, this, this, a lot of these can go into different categories. So flashlight, that's perfect because the the power goes out. You need to see what's going on. Yeah, and sometimes I love the little pin lights because you just yeah I mean, they're so easy to carry around. If we got one in one of these boxes. I'm this well that tool I that I'm using, the M6. Mm-hmm is uh 20 20 that's still that's yeah. pretty good but we need it to be that'll be the boat. next list yeah so uh great light, when the lights go out and you're at home uh you you have to light it some way shape or form and the easiest the classic way to do that is with candles yes. right and this is something that you can really get some bang for your buck um in the under the ten dollar category for sure you can go with like those tea candles. So I found they have a pack of fifty tea candles for at Walmart for three eighty seven. Oh wow! Like because I bought three pack of three packs of forty each. Uh huh. They're four dollars a piece at yeah. IKEA. That's yeah. Again, like, about the same. That's like a really good price. It's nice. Like light pumpkins the, every year with. Yeah, them. and so like the tea candles are great, but sometimes you want stuff that's not gonna like burn out in 15 yeah. minutes because that's they just don't burn a long time so you can go with something like the the coglin is that how you say it the whatever emergency candles there's like a two pack on amazon for like 889 so uh and those are like built for 
this purpose to long burning candles. Yeah. You can also get something like the Fosa 36 hour survival candle for like 783. It's actually like in a little tin and it's supposed to give off heat as well. So yeah, that's the thing I heard you can like do like a little tea candle. Yeah. Just those ones mm-hmm. in, and like wrap a, you know, something that'll start on fire around it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, but Flammable like material. if you like use like a mylar bag or, yeah. or not a mylar, um, what are the, the reflective? Yeah. The mylar, mylar blanket. Yeah. Mylar blanket. Yeah. Those, they like, they can create a lot of heat in there. So. Sure. Yeah. So anyways, that, I mean, candles under 10 bucks and you could go to the store, spend 10 bucks and be good for candles for the next 10 years. So again, like it's a really great way to get your prepping moving forward for little, little bits of cash. That's why we wanted to do this because again, exactly. It's not, we don't, we'd always want to spend $3,000 on a generator for or something, sure. right? Like it's tough. Yeah. Um, the other thing with those little tea, what's that brand at the UCO? Uko? Yeah, Uko. Uko, is that what it is? I don't know. That's what I say. Yeah. They, they have some really cool things to like utilize that as a, like a little a lantern. lantern or yeah, I've like got little, one at home. They're yeah, cool. They're pretty cool. They like reflect the light out really well. So, yeah. yeah. So it's like makes way better use of it. Mm-hmm. All right. And then, then number three, mm-hmm. going through this so fast. That's great. Duct tape. Um, yeah. We talk about this all the time. Like, um. They have all kinds of different ways you can carry your duct tape. I've seen people will wrap duct tape around like a water bottle and throw it in their backpack so they have that tape there. Mm-hmm. But around just a lighter, a, people do yeah, that a lot. Yeah, that too. Mm-hmm. Um, the duct tape, though, has so many uses. Oh, man. Patch things up, mm-hmm. tie people up, mm-hmm. put it over mouth, loud people. Um, you can repair your bags, you can <laughs> repair your tent. Yeah, <laughs> put it over the mouth of loud people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. I don't know. Um, but seriously, duct tape mm. comes in super handy. If you've ever worked on a ranch or a farm or just yeah. around your house, you, you know the uses. You and gotta so have duct tape. Having uh, and then on Amazon, the original duct tape, like because there's a lot of cheap crap out there. Yeah, the original brand duct tape is six dollars for a twenty foot roll. Because the cheap yard, stuff, 20. I hate so bad. Me too. I've got some like I think my wife got it Half at like it the, melts. the dollar store or something and it yeah. just doesn't even stick. You put it on and yeah. then you peel off and all the adhesive stays yeah. and the silver strip comes <laughs> silver strip's off. gone. Yeah. Gets yeah, the there's stuff. a lot of garbage, but um for like brand name stuff, it's mm. gonna cost you under ten dollars for right. you know, twenty yards or whatever. For sure. Yeah, the duct tape. And then, and again, that crosses categories. That's yeah, that's at your home, that's in your bug out bag, that's in your EDC, that's in your truck, your vehicle. Yeah. Yep. Like it's man, it's you really do need a roll like in all those places. You do, you really do. <laughs> and like in my EDC kit, it. I have the the flattened uh one where it's not in a roll. Oh right. It's like it slides into like a little I have pocket. like this little um it has it's like a little rod and then it has a duct tape wrapped around it on the top it has like a really thin um oh, right. cordage yeah that's the exotac one. that is the one that's right yeah yep. that one's kind of sweet that is actually really sweet i like so. that too all right number four this one okay this this was not easy to do uh under 10 bucks but i've done it so congratulations to me <laughs> emergency radio Oh, um, yeah, I saw you put that. I was like, yeah, it's tough. Mm, look at that one. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's very, I mean, here's the thing. Like, communication, we talk about this so often. It's so important. And it, and it doesn't matter what scenario you're in. You've got to have really good communication. Natural disasters and storms, obviously, civil unrest, freaking asteroids heading towards the Earth. You have to have whatever information is coming in. And obviously, the first line of defense is the Internet and and TV and all that kind of stuff, but that's not always available, especially in some of these bad situations. So that's why the emergency radio is so important because that's kind of like the last line of defense when it comes to communications in an emergency. Um, so can you get one for under 10 bucks? Yes. Is it going to be great? Doubt it, yeah. but it might get you through, <laughs> right? But it, again, it might get you through. I found two of them. Um, the one I would suggest, here's the hard part about it, it doesn't actually have a brand name, and that, that scares me slightly. <laughs> it's just called Solar Emergency Radio. <laughs> hand crank battery operated. So this actually, it's solar, and it has hand crank. And um, Is it the little red one? It's the, a white one. I, you can click on the Does it have a link. light on the front, and then it... Because I remember when we did our little uh, build our kit. Oh, no, that one's nicer than the one I saw. Yeah, it's actually not horrible yeah, that's for that price, right? That's yeah. real nice. So, again, nine sixty seven on Amazon. Dang. Um, That's kind of tough to beat. And, oh, the brand is Yodisu. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, that's a great y- brand. Yodisu, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's an awesome brand. The RD638T is mm. the one I'm looking at. 
again, it's not going to be perfect, but it is a survival radio. It, it'll get you through. It has a light on it. It has solar. It has the antenna. It has a crank. Like, there's not much Sounds more you like could it ask would work. for. I know. So, anyways, that is the emergency radio. And again, that one kind of crosses boundaries in categories, but probably most useful at home. Oh, okay. And it's tiny. I mean, it's, That's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah it's not it bad. It looks nice. Yeah, not bad at all. Really good looking. Mm -hmm. Number five. This is a swear word, basically. Oh, yeah. The N95, N95. mask. It's funny how it wasn't a swear word mm -mm. for a long, long time. Like, th this was like, yeah, you got to have your N95. You, now you it's have like, to have what? It. I don't even say it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're wordless. Yeah, it's been, um, yeah. Yeah. Comes, yeah, it's got a bad name behind it now, but, yeah, um, sure. N95 mask. It's a new N word. <laughs> it is. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. I have 95 reasons why to not wear this <laughs> thing. That's exactly true. Um, yeah. But the N95 mask, like I said, no one wants to speak of this thing anymore. But yeah. as we saw in the early stages of COVID, when who knows what was going on, yeah. they were like, wear this N95. Um, Remember how expensive they were? Yeah. It's a, like you could not find them. Like, no. And then you were getting these like cheapos that had holes in them. It's oh, like, yeah. this isn't even a real mask. It's like, yeah, again, putting panties on your face. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. People were resorting like to doing lace that kind of panties. stuff. Like, yeah. Not even like, <laughs> not even just like cotton panties. These I want like, you to see my mouth so you can like, read what I'm just saying. Stick your tongue through there. It's you know what I mean. It's not stopping anything. <laughs> no, lace panties that you can stick your tongue through. Yeah, that's your mask. And man, everybody's like, "Where do you get those?" <laughs> um, Amazon under ten bucks, I guarantee it. Oh yeah, try get a ten pack. I'm we sure we should have put that on there. Huh? <laughs> we should have panties. <laughs> um, <laughs> the uh, so pandemics still a huge, very yeah. real possibility and yeah. terrifying. And you just don't know how it's going to be transmitted. Right. I like a mask obviously is going to reduce some of that. We saw, um, all the viruses and all things like from, for multiple reasons, not just the masks, mm -hmm. but, but go down. But I know the mask does help in, in ways with pandemics and spread. Mm -hmm. You've seen nasty people just blowing their sneeze everywhere in Walmart. <laughs> Quit blowing your sneeze everywhere. <laughs> 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 and they're like, like they're at the self checkout. Don't even just try. Like, just to like cover your mouth, spitting all over the Mash self. Don't check. work. <laughs> just like spread it yeah. all over everything. Oh my god. Um, but like even that one percent, wouldn't you wear it if you knew that it blocked one sure, yeah. percent? Like I don't like, even want to get into. I know. It, I don't either. Don't even want to get into. But the it. other th the other uh, useful things with N95s is debris, like yeah. earthquakes, buildings collapse. That's all that like. Asbestos Wait, out there, yeah, you know? Yeah, say there's a volcano or there's an asteroid that hits and there's all this debris in the air. Mask like, don't work. <laughs> mask don't work. I'll breathe in that asteroid dust. <laughs> yeah. Give it to no me. No difference. Um, <laughs> but, like, they're super useful and they're cheap now and they're yeah. more than readily available. Yeah, and you can sure. get uh, a good pack. I, I, I actually meant to post. Will you look at Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have Amazon? I thought I had it on there. Yeah. Um but like uh, scavenging and, and stuff like that, using that mask, we've talked about that when you're rooting around sure, trying yeah. to find some gear. You never know uh, what you're breathing in. Um, so N95. 20 pack, 20 pack for nine ninety nine. There you go. So N95's <laughs> on the list because Unless you not get only, you know, we're not going to talk about the pandemic virus stuff, just yeah. for a lot of other uses and to just look cool. Yeah, you, you can get a 3M, so like the... Aura particulate respirator N95 plus N205. Yeah. 10 pack yeah. for 975. That's a good idea. Yeah. So back in the day, I remember seeing people like wearing them before the pandemic. Yeah. I'm like, what kind of disease is he? Ill, ill. And now it's like, kids oh. don't sit next. <laughs> don't. <laughs> and they're actually protecting themselves. Yeah. Since. But during flu season and stuff, you know, a lot of the, yeah. um, like China and Japan, they still, put they wear them, them all the time. Yeah. It's people normal. are gross. So. All right. Number six. Batteries, oh, yeah. as my grandpa would say, batteries, <laughs> not batteries, batteries. Um, they run everything, man. You gotta have, you gotta have batteries for everything. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> and it's a lot of the stuff we need in some sort of an emergency situation, right? So having a bunch of those on hand, it's a must for anybody who wants to be prepared. I mean, you got flashlights, you got your freaking smoke alarms, oh, headlamps. Yeah. We're going to talk about those radios. So many things you got to have batteries. So 
you could definitely start a little bit of a stockpile for under 10 bucks. They're not cheap. Here's the thing. Batteries are not cheap in any way, shape, or form. And if you get the cheap ones, they're not great. Right. But you can get, like, I've actually honestly had okay luck with, like, the Amazon Oh, I buy them all the time. I just bought a pack. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. They so work good. A, you can get a 20-pack of double A's for nine twenty four. Again, that's perfect for your for your prepper stockpile. Yeah. You know, a 20-pack, that'll get you through most disasters. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, you got to have batteries. You got to. There's just no way around it. So Nobody's banned those yet. <laughs> not yet, but we got to get AI to find all right, the materials right. to make it. Yeah, um, there's a gap here. Six, no, seven. Can't, oh, I can't open it. Yeah, you're not there. It's me. Okay. <laughs> what yeah, you do there here? Just, there was just two of us. Here? We got two in a row. That's all right. Um, an item that gets overlooked quite frequently. Oh, it does. Is a can opener, right? You you have all the those canned foods on your shelf to fall back on in in hard times or in longer term type SHTF scenarios, and then you forget that you only have an electric can opener, and if the power goes out. Your SOL, yep. my friend. You can obviously open up that can. And have you ever ways. tried to open a can without? Yeah. It's, it's the worst thing in the world. You will cut off your finger. <laughs> yep. Most likely, like if you're using a, a knife, you're going to cut if you don't, off. Yeah, if you don't sever a finger mm-hmm. with the knife, yeah. then reach it in the can or yeah. you'll cut your tongue or, off. Or you'll lose I mean, I'm all just, can. <laughs> I just lick it. I just barely get it open and suck it out if I can. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? I get my tongue in there and work the lid off. <laughs> Oh, gosh, you got an iron tongue, boy. <laughs> That's what they used to call you in high school. Yeah, iron tongue. Iron tongue's here. <laughs> Party's starting. Yeah. <laughs> On the sidelines is yeah. iron tongue. Iron tongue hardy, 150 putting, yards rushing. They're putting a, <laughs> That's right. That my whole <laughs> yeah. career of football, I think, was like 25 yards. Yeah. Negative 25. I only played special teams, so you got better than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man you know what i mean yeah I rem- tone like art. i got i remember i got put in like one of my first times and it was like a a pitch mm-hmm. and i like swung down like 45 yards yeah. negative and i think i gained five i was like well if i would have cut it up early yeah i would have probably gotten dude yeah. yeah i was i was on the special teams i was just, i was like 80 pounds dripping wet right so they just <laughs> yeah. put me on special teams like you just go out here and try and hit somebody right <laughs> i didn't do anything and then and then finally like the last game of the season they put me in on defense i was cornerback i was like oh here it that's is. what i played this too. is this is my chance right so they're they're in the red zone it's like they're in the 15 yard line they're throwing a, a pass to my side and i've got like all the time in the world to, to, to pick this thing off. Like, yeah. they're not even seeing me. Yeah. And I stood there like an idiot and just watched him catch it. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. He brings me out. He's like, what the hell was that, Coonrad? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. I, football's not my game, apparently. Yeah, it, it, yeah. I, I wasn't good. Yeah. But I had fun. Iron tongue hardy. No, iron tongue. <laughs> Our dogs are going to get you <laughs> if they put him in. <laughs> if they put him in, he's going to get you. Yeah. Nick you to death. I was fast and that was it. Yeah. I don't know how. His little legs, they got moving pretty quick. <laughs> they got moving quick. So obviously you can open up these cans. Like you can use the knife or you can- Or your tongue. Eat, or your tongue. <laughs> or you can use the method where you rub it on the concrete. Have you ever seen oh, that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like shave off the edge or whatever. Take you all day. <laughs> But then you're going to eat your stew. At the, yeah. What is he doing? Kids right? are sucking on sprinklers. You're like, <laughs> we're just eating. Yeah. I'm going to eat a little stew later on. <laughs> and then, like, as soon as it opens, it all plops out Don't on the concrete. There. That's Iron Tongue. That's Iron Tongue Hardy. Did you see that? <laughs> He's eating more canned yeah. food. <laughs> Strengthening that tongue. Ooh. Boy, I tell you can't what. speak, but he can open cans. He's a legend around these parts. <laughs> <laughs> legend so anyways grab a cheap manual can opener bro i yeah. mean like uh it's not expensive you can get a pack of the p38 and the p <laughs> they got like world war ii airplanes no they are the- they're the military ones. oh is that what they are yeah so like you know they're if you click on that you can see what they look like they're, oh, okay. they're the the little like they can fit anywhere in an airplane tiny, in an airplane for sure but they're just like these little tiny things that you that take forever to open the stupid can but they will open the can did the pilots wear use these mm-hmm. oh okay you I, know what i mean man i didn't even know those were can openers yeah, so yeah <laughs> those are can openers so you get two i've of seen them. those before and i'm like what is that you can get two of them for five bucks 
under oh, okay. five bucks. Or you can go with like the more modern, the Gorilla Grip heavy duty stainless steel smooth edge manual handheld can. I've never opener. tried one of those. Yeah, they're a pain in the butt. They, you can you can do it though. They look like what you like when you tie two studs together, mm. like a um, like what is it like a wire a wire sh- or little thing that protect i'm not a carpenter okay <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about the but, little the little plate you, you hit on so oh, they, they can't put a nail through where the electrical okay. cords are i get you plate guard that's not nail guard is. nail guard i think that's it Just anyway stick on nails. everybody keep listening <laughs> yeah we're doing or you can get like a regular like just you know can opener for like nine bucks no, yeah, I just do that. That's what I would do. Like you can get these other ones, but I'm gonna get one of these. <laughs> I'm just saying you could do it for even cheaper if you wanted, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, so get anyways, two. That's it. That is the the um that's that's the whole thing. Audio. That's Stay the whole right. home stuff. That's the home stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> the list is I you make your re- the it's a build your own. Yeah, that's adventure. Eight. You figure it out now. A <laughs> seven. Um yeah, I didn't sleep last night, so it's okay. My brain is <laughs> On level with mine. Yeah, something like that. So now let's move into the bug out bag supplies, Cam. Yeah, do. Okay. Number one. And number, number eight. Which but is number, number eight. One. Which is number one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Number eight in the overall list. Number one in the Bob supplies. Yeah. Um, fire starter. Yes. You can bick whatever you want all day. Oh, bick. Okay. You can just sit and try and burn a stick yeah. or whatever, but fire starter is going to make it way easier for bick you. Bick a stick. It's going to speed things up. And there's a lot of garbage fire starter out there. Oh my gosh. Like some of it, I still, I've tried that stuff so many times. I know. What is that one? The, um, it's such, I can't it's such now. trash in my yeah. opinion. Um, it looks like cobbler, like <laughs> topping. <laughs> really gross cobbler topping. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like one of my favorites is the live fire. Sure. This one can go above 10 once in a while, but I, you can find it for can about oh, nice. like 990 or something in most places. I love those things too, man. So it's a it's a little it looks like the it's um like a little metal canister or, or like a little slide open can. Mm-hmm. Very slim, lightweight, but it has uh like cotton that's laced with napalm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, 999 right now. 999 on Amazon. Yeah. So um, but this thing can be lit a million times because mm-hmm. you just slide it open for however much you want to expose, light it on fire, and then you just close the lid Yeah, and it puts it out and you can just keep reusing it. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a great fire starter. I love it, man. It's and, good stuff. Um, but yeah, I like that one because you can throw it in your bag. Um, it doesn't take up like any space or any weight mm-hmm. and it's reusable. And there's so, a million other ones like you could get for there's under 10 There's little packages. Bucks. There's um, glow, like little... Uh, those that yeah, little impregnated like mm-hmm. um earplug Cotton looking stuff, things yeah. that you just shred open. I like the discs too. That was one of yes. my favorite ones. They uh, they're also like you kind of fray them a little bit, mm-hmm. and pull a little piece off. Um, I can't remember who makes that one. The it's um fire disc. Oh, it's uh. F- not it's the fire Dave disc. Canna- that one's garbage. Don't it's do that one. Dave Canterbury's um yeah company because the it. the um. Coughlin one's terrible. Don't yeah, that one. it's all over in one of my drawers. It broke open. It's just basically sawdust packed into a disc. Yeah. Oh yeah, I hate that stuff. That one sucks. Yeah, it they're, works, but it's like it's just messy they're a and pain. It's big and bulky. Yep. God, I don't remember that fire disc one. That one's pretty sweet though. It looks like um, it's about the size of those little pads your wife cleans her makeup off with. Yeah. Or like you remember the <laughs> the jerky discs? You used yeah. To get? That's exactly, that's yeah. what it reminds me of. <laughs> I used to buy those all the time. Yeah. You get like six of them or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyways, um, those are really nice. So, but yeah. get you a fire starter. Mm-hmm. It like less, th- most of it is less than um, 10 bucks. Mm-hmm. A good one that's reusable, like that live fire is um, great. But yeah. you're going to want to, you're going to want a fire starter of I some agree. sort in the vehicle or in your bug out bag. And we're talking about bug out bags. So that's what we're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> all right. Moving on to number nine. Um, we all know the water. It's like one of the most important preps, one of the most important resources that that you have for survival. Yep. So if you're number bug- nine on our list, <laughs> number nine on our list for sure. But while you're bugging out, even if you're bugging in, everything in between, you need clean, awesome water. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and a quick, inexpensive way to ensure that your water is clean is with purification tablets. It's hard to find. That's just like a regular personal water filter for under 10 bucks. Like, you might be able to find those. Um, I don't know if I would recommend them. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. But they do make like those like off brand like straw water filters. I don't, uh-huh. I don't know. Okay. I would go with these before I go with that. This is, um, uh, da, 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 da. this is, I'm getting messages over here. My brain is freaking so fried today. Um, the, the water tabs, the purification tabs, like the, the potable aqua water oh, yeah, yeah. purification tablets. And you can the get a little teeny little bottle. That's a tiny yeah, it comes bottle in a little too. bottle. Yeah. So eight ninety seven. So you pop like four, then you drink whatever water you want. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it that way. <laughs> There, there are um, instructions on the bottle that you should follow. <laughs> yeah. um, you don't pop them like they're. I can't. How many? Ibuprofen. Like one. <laughs> that's not a good idea. One tab. How many gallons per tab? Um, I can't remember. That's a good question. Uh, I've got a couple of those little bottles kicking around. I don't know. I'd have to go through and really look through these, but I, I know if you have like this is a two pack. You know, it's a two pack, and it's eight ninety seven, and you get fifty. So that's that's gonna last you a while. Yeah, you know what I mean for sure. Um, I could probably go through this and figure out like how much it does, but probably not the best right now. But anyways, eight ninety seven. You can have these. These are great for a bug out bag, but again, they're great for anywhere in your preps because you gotta have clean water. Yeah, for sure. So anyway. no, that's a great one. Um, we uh, already mentioned this, so spoiler, sorry. <clears throat> um, but that mylar blanket. Yeah. They're super important because they have so many different uses. Mm-hmm. One, keeps your temperature controlled. Yeah. You know, it's a lot warmer than just whatever cloth or what, you know, whatever you're using to try and stay warm. Throw one of these over mm-hmm. and you're going to cook. And yeah. they, they work really well. Um, they're reflective. So if you're lost, it's it's helpful for being spotted if you have something like this. Mm-hmm. Dryness. Um, and they also can help uh, make a better shelter. Yeah. You build it with all the crappy sticks that doesn't block anything, and then you throw one of these over, and it definitely helps. So you can go, you can get from Primacare mm-hmm. um, on Amazon, you can get 10 of them. They're 52 inches by 84 inches, and they're thin and they tear easily, but if you have 10, yeah. I mean, you throw it in every every bag you have, mm-hmm. vehicle you have, under your bed, yep. in your kid's drawers. I got them everywhere, dude. Yeah, I do too. I was just cleaning out my garage, and I was like but they finding have a, them all over my garage. Yeah, like, they have I a do? ton of good ones, and they have bigger ones that are thicker. You can get yeah. a four-pack. Um, the one that I've looked at a couple of times is, I almost bought this one when we were doing our other list. Mm-hmm. It's uh, Emergency Blankets from Co- Mark Cobra, mm. and they're like... They're big, heavy duty, thicker ones. Uh, four pack of those, seven ninety five. Six oh, nice. pack, nine ninety five. That's pretty good. So on Amazon, you can get some nicer quality, or if you just want a ton of cheaper ones, mm-hmm. easy to do that under ten dollars. And again, why not have one of these in your bug out bag? No space, no weight. Yeah, like the other thing too is like snow and water. It's a, a, you yeah. know you can use those to collect, collect water, water, clean, and mm-hmm. yeah, some good things. A million right. things to do with them. Number eleven. Um, I imagine, in like most of these badass HDF scenarios, my GPS is going to be gone. Yeah, probably. Right. I don't know how I like, got around anywhere without. I don't know. I can't like my phone maps. Like, <laughs> yeah. When I leave Vernal, it's like I have to have it. Like I can't get anywhere. I'm like, how did we do this? And I know I did. I got places. I know. I just even like a common route that I take. To, yeah. To go to Brigham. Mm-hmm. I still get a little confused because of all the intersections and st- or all the like overpasses and stuff. I'm yeah. like, I know I've taken this one. I think this one's short. So it's like, yep. anyway. Anyways. Yeah. How are you going to navigate if you have like a map? You know what I mean? Like you're going to need a compass yeah. for this. Um, and, you know, there's a billion trillion compasses out there. Um, but you can grab one for under 10 bucks really, really easily on Amazon. I found one that um, is called the Professional Boy Scout Compass. So if you're a professional boy, good. if you're a professional Boy Scout, this is perfect for you. Nine eighty nine, and it is it's got a whistle on there. Is li- your leader's touching you? <laughs> blow the whistle. <laughs> that's that's why it's the professional. <laughs> this is actually for the leader, probably. Um, it's is got that other a boy tools. meter. It's got. <laughs> he's got something like that. Where's those boys at? There's measuring devices. I don't know what those are for. Um. So, anyways, it's liquid field filled. That field, some like hardcore scout person <laughs> will be pissed. <laughs> Liquid filled, rotating bezel, magnetic heading, all the kind of cool stuff that you need. That's a, that's the professional Boy Scout one, huh? Yep, and nine eighty nine. 
So there's again, there's a billion different ones you can get. Looks like it looks like you're a professional Boy Scout. That one's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's not bad for ten bucks. Or is it just neon? I think it's just neon. Yeah, but I I don't know. Man, that one's that one. It's got a magnifying glass on it. It's got all kinds of cool stuff. That's a good deal. Yeah, so uh, that's a great uh, thing to add to. You know, we need to do a navigation episode. But man, I'm so dumb at navigation. I am too. This is how you use Google. Get me Which home. way's the arrow? Is it <laughs> yeah. the way I'm going? Or? Yeah. Anyways, compass number eleven. That's a good one. Um, number twelve is a folding stove. So um, yeah, you can heat up rocks, put some food on it. You can yeah. make a log cabin fire and cook, however. But it's TV so fire. much easier if you have a folding stove. Yeah. Hold your little pot up. Um, it just and then you can also use it with um little alcohol tabs mm-hmm. to, to cook food. It just makes life a lot easier. And there's a ton of different options. One of our very first, I think the first video we ever did. I think so, Well, yeah. what, was it? I think we did the did lantern thing in your basement. Oh, was yeah. the very first. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> it's was like stupid. two seconds. So stupid. But we did, um, we had a little, one of those collapsible stoves that's, you know, it's just uh, four pieces of steel and you just snap it together into a square. Yeah. And you can just feed sticks and bugs and whatever in there. It'll burn. But it makes it a lot easier. The and Emberlit it, stove. Emberlit. That's, that's the, the one, one we, we did. It's probably 20 or 30 bucks now. Yeah, seven years ago we made that. Yeah. Wow. They make a, there's a ton of them though, and you can get, um, I didn't have any specific brand on here because um, there's there's just a ton of like oh, little random many. ones. Yeah. And there's ones that just fold out, and there's ones that you build the, you know, the four sides, mm-hmm. but it has a little door that you put all the, you know, it, and it kind of acts like a little blast stove too, so it's it's hotter than just your regular, um, you know, you don't have to start a whole fire to start yeah. cooking stuff, so. I put that on there because I think that is an easy $10 to make camping and stuff a sure. lot easier. Or they even have like the little tiny, the only problem is you got to buy some propane or protein or whatever you use um, with it. But they have those, they're like $5 for a little yeah. tiny um, gas stove uh, attachment to mm-hmm. one of those small propane grills. Um or propane tanks. So, um, a lot of options there with folding stove, and it makes your cooking experience way better. It really does. Way better. Actually, the first video we have on here is when you choked on your Coke during The Witcher 3. <laughs> it's, is it's, that really it's the on first there. one? Yeah. Isn't that weird? I don't know how it's there, but that was the first one. <laughs> That's the first one. Uh, yeah. I saw, I saw uh, angels at the, during did. that you, experience. Uh, yeah. It's on our basement. <laughs> You can yeah. hear it in the background. It's on our basement nation <laughs> outdoors page. You're like, are you okay? <laughs> we should play that one day because it's hilarious. Um, number 13. Is it on basement nation? Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Number 13, waterproof matches. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, fire is critical. Cam was talking about you need to cook. You need fire to cook. You need it to stay warm. You need it for safety and security. There's a million other things. Sometimes the weather, though, makes it really hard to start a fire. It's windy, it's uh, raining, it's snowing, or whatever it is, and those stupid matches, the normal ones, they just blow out the second you get them in. They do. That's why you need to have the weather slash waterproof matches to make um, a fire much easier. Yeah. So, my preferred brand of these is the Zippo. They're incredible. The Typhoon Match I use kit. them quite often. But you can't get those for 10 bucks, unfortunately. But you can get the Yuko Stormproof Match Kit. Comes in the waterproof case and everything for 9 bucks on Amazon. They, they, they have a little more fuel on them too, don't they? I like think, the little, I think they're a longer match. The only problem with them is that they break. <laughs> is that the one that snapped and yeah. burned your uh-huh. hand? <laughs> burned my damn arm with them one time. Yeah, Kobe Got like on camera. S- was striking it and it busted the tip off mm-hmm. on fire yeah. and flipped on your hand. Landed on my wrist or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great clip. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, so, but you can get those for 10 bucks. Again, what a fantastic prep to have anywhere. Yeah. Bug out bag, EDC kit, home, all, all of the above. Yeah, we we have like a little Ziploc bag of just a little cheapo matchbox, like uh-huh. yeah. um, strike anywhere ones that we have in our vehicles. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, didn't have them one day. It made me mad because we needed to start a grill and could didn't have embarrassing. Yeah, it embarrassing. Is embarrassing. Number fourteen, bandana, mm. bandana brown, bandana brown. <laughs> So these yeah. um, obviously have tons of uses. Um, you can use them like a triangle bandage, um, masks, robberies, slings, filtering, mm-hmm. you name it. You can use a bandana for all of that. Um, if you don't have your N95 because you're embarrassed, 
use a bandana. Yeah. It helps a little bit filtration. For sure. Um, you can get a lot of uh, good ones for, for less than five bucks or even cheaper, two ninety nine. Mm-hmm. But UST um, makes a good one that has tips on it. It because the other brand that makes the ones who was it that makes the other one that has like the oh. fishing and knots and all that stuff starts with a C. Um, yeah. Anyway, they're more expensive. Yeah, but um, UST makes Coulter a band. Yeah, yeah. Coulter they have some Co. awesome ones, but they're, they're like cool. thirteen dollars. Yeah. <clears throat> but these ones from UST have uh, this survival band bandana for ten bucks on Amazon. Is it the orange one? Yeah, yeah. It has uh, easy to read tips and highly visual, you know, because it's orange. Mm-hmm. Coulter Co. Yeah, Coulter Adventures. That's yep. the one that they're just slightly more expensive, but, but they're have a way lot more nicer. Tips. They're way nicer. But yeah, uh, just a generic bandana. You can get uh, a pack of. 16 multi-piece bandanas on Amazon for $9.99. Wow. Get it tomorrow, actually. One day shipping. <laughs> Sorry, so, um, your house. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can get ones with maps printed on them and stuff like that for around 10 bucks or just a big pack. But super useful yeah. in, in medical uses mm-hmm. and um, filtration and robberies. So, All of the above. Mm-hmm. Number six or <clears throat> number 15, um, a bivy bag or a bivy sack. However you want to say it. You got to stay warm. More convenient than the Mylar blanket. <laughs> yeah. While but. you're while you're bugging out or if you're in an emergency situation, maybe you got to sleep, you know, um, outside and you don't have space for a full like sleep system with a, with a sleeping bag and all that kind of stuff, you know. So a bivy bag is a great way to save space and weight, but still, you know, keep yourself warm in, in those situations. So I found actually, which I found they had a great deal going on. That one on. is a great deal. The I saw Met- that one. The Mimetic Super Bivy, you can get it for nine ninety five right now. This thing's super durable. Yes, like you could literally put all your gear in it, tie it off if yeah. you're crossing a river or throwing yeah. it in the river. The, this thing is awesome. So this is eighty four inches by thirty six inches. Um, they're just they're just the Mimetic one is way better quality. It's nice, and it's in a little like uh, cloth Sack. zip bag, right? Mm-hmm. I think I'm pretty positive it is. Yes. So that that's the one I would suggest still- for under 10 bucks, but you can also go on I Amazon. Should buy another one of those. That's such a good deal. Yeah. You can go on Amazon and I found the yeah, Del, still the Del Mera emergency sleeping bag, which looks pretty nice actually. Um, it, it looks pretty thick. It's like puncture resistant. So it, it's $9.99. Just put it on a puncture weed. Yeah, exactly. Sleep on the puncture weed. Yep. So that um, that's another one you can get. Yeah, but it, does, <clears throat> I honestly think you get a better deal overall than just the Mylar blanket. Well, the Mylar blankets have their other uses. Yeah, have but. other uses, yeah. So honestly, like, I know I need to get, like, a great backpacking sleeping bag for my bug out bag. I just haven't done it. Like, I have one, but I don't keep it in there. I just keep a nice, I think I have the my medic. I have the same one. One in my bug out bag just because it's so lightweight. Yeah. You know? It's tiny. Yeah. You just have a, if you have a, yeah, small blanket, it's mm-hmm. going to be way warmer than most things. Exactly. Um, now on to the manliness. Ooh, okay. You got to have a ferro rod. You do. Because they're super cheap. Mm -hmm. You can get all kinds of different types um, on Amazon or at, you know, Sportsman's Warehouse. They have them all over. Um, Dirt cheap. They're useful. Mm -hmm. Um, They're not my favorite. (laughs) They're not. Mm, Yeah. Because they're not not all that easy when you can just go buy a, you know, six pack of lighters at the dollar store. I know. Could blow up in your hand, but. But you got six. But then you got a flame going and you can usually start a few things with it. On um, the one, the one that was the the ferro rod that uh, I really like has the little push start one. Oh yeah, I think that one is ten bucks. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Is it like the uh, I can't the remember slide called. striker or whatever the crap that one's called? No, I don't know. Anyways, um, there's a billion options. I didn't have any like specific brand that I liked. Um, just make sure that the ferro rod is long. Yeah. And it isn't tethered. To you know, yeah, a really short cord for your striker because it's a nightmare. Yeah, like it's not worth it. Just, just you can find one. Just make sure it's long, so it's you know mm-hmm. everybody likes the long. Ones. And use the back of your knife instead yeah. of one or of have yeah, strikers. Or, yeah. Um, Schrade has a really good one. That's the one I was. Oh, nice. It has, yeah. It's a long rod and it has a long cord for the striker, so you can actually keep it all together without yeah. having to take it off from the cord. Okay, nice. Number seventeen. A survival guide. 
right? You can't know everything. As much as you think you can, the you cannot do it. It's all up here. I don't need no books. I, I think everybody <laughs> needs to have at least a survival too. guide. Keeping your bug out bag, your bug out vehicle, home, place of work, anywhere, right? Um, it's going to give you that critical information that you need when the internet is down or when other resources are unavailable. You just got to get one. I suggest there's not a lot at this price range. You can't just get a ton. Um, but I did find one that I've, I've actually have. I have it at home. And this is the paperback version of the Pocket Outdoors Survival Guide. This is it's a really small um, book that you could throw in a bag, and it, it's really no space at all. And it's nine ninety five. Oh, and you wow, can yeah. actually get used ones on Amazon for uh, like two bucks. Yeah. So um, this one, I've I've found the. Um, oh, the first. Oh, the my medic yeah, one. The my medic one's nice. Right, yeah. right now I think it, this price is ten. Dollars and eleven cents from this site, but probably mm-hmm. costs fifty dollars shipping. But yeah, I found it for under ten before. They go on sale on my medic site all mm-hmm. the time, and I actually to get one. I'm at, I'm at thrift stores a lot, so I actually just picked up like a brand new copy of the SAS Survival Handbook. Oh, really? For a dollar? Oh, jeez. So I grabbed. That's that a great one. idea. But you can find something like that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Perfect. So, anyways, that's it. You want to survive though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Online shopping. <sighs> yeah. Wherever. Public Wi Fi, mm-hmm. then you need to get Surfshark. Yeah. It's the only way that you can protect yourself online against, you know, mm-hmm. people that are putting out malware, people that are phishing, people that are trying to send you obnoxious emails. You never know. You click on a link, boom, you've lost everything. Surfshark, though, will allow you um, and any device that you have that goes on the internet mm-hmm. to be protected. It shields um, your IP address. You're connecting to a server in another state, another country even, and you can go online safely. It's the only way to go gray man, to go gray man online. Um, I buy this every or every two years myself, my own money, because mm-hmm. it is useful and it's the easiest one I've found to use. Um, if I go to the airport or in a public Wi-Fi, the thing I like about the app is it'll just pop up a notification that says unprotected um service or unprotected uh, internet connection Mm -hmm. and you know you're so you click it and you just do you click quick connect and you're up and going um and it has a a safety feature that if you um if surfshark loses connection then the internet won't work Mm -hmm. pretty awesome you can get 27 months for less than 60 bucks if you use our code casual preppers so go to their website type in casual preppers you'll get 83 percent off from 27 months which is insane. Yeah. So go do it. Do it's it. the only way to go online safely. I like it. EDC. Yeah, let's talk about everyday carry. This is the good stuff. Mm-hmm. So um, a knife. A knife, a good quality knife, a strong knife can be hard to find for under $10. Sure can. There's a ton of options. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, you can find one. Yes. But to find something that's like of good quality, that's a little tricky. The one that I found um, was the K-Bar. Uh-huh. Um, and we have this one. It has a little sheath with it. Uh, it is uh, just shy of ten dollars. Oh, nice. The K bar. I think you'd recognize it. I didn't. I thought I had a link in there, but I don't. K bar. Um, they make a lot of good stuff. They. Uh, I love their like spoon fork combo. Thing. Yeah, they're nice, huh? Um, but the K bar fixed blade knife is. They have so many. Yeah, I wish I thought I had that link. But anyways, um. It's one of those that has like an open handle that's just metal, yeah, and has a small sheath. But that I know is a good sharp quality knife for under ten dollars. You can get that one on Amazon. Um, Rough Rider makes a lot of different ones too. I haven't ever used their stuff, but I haven't either. They have a lot of like decent looking, probably pretty good quality uh, knives. Um, and the other thing is you can get a lot of those little cheapo knives that have like a paracord handle. Yep. There's so you're actually getting kind of a combo, mm-hmm. um, of useful survival gear there. I mean, a blade it's made out of metal <laughs> for the most part, you shouldn't have much issue with a cheap blade, but I mean, it's not like you're gonna, yeah, it's not gonna this last isn't, forever yeah, exactly. and be like your bestest. But wanting to ever. have something in like individual bags, travel kits, EDC packs and stuff like that. Um, mm-hmm. these, these are good options cause they're lightweight. I really like that K-Bar one for that reason is it's Mm -hmm. weighs nothing and it's slim. I mean, it's just a little bit wider than like a regular wallet. From time to time, 
you can get a Mora knife for ten. I was bucks. wondering, do they ever fall below? Because what are they like, fifteen to you, thirteen? You can get. I think you could probably get. I it thought for we like put one on bucks. there at one point when we did our one list for we, under ten. I swear it was. Under I don't 10. know if it was like they're like I said from time to time. That you would can be get them for ten. That was bucks. my first choice, but I can't yeah. find one on and like so, currently. I would probably watch for those because if I was going to spend ten bucks and I could only get one knife, that's what I'm getting. Me too. Like there's that's just, the best affordable. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, that's where I would get an expensive knife. But but again, you can get folding knives for your pocket. There's a lot of different things you can do here. So, right. Number nineteen, a lighter. We talked about ferro rod already. We talked about matches, but here is the granddaddy of them all. Fire is crucial. Again, warmth, cooking, security, safety. Having that tried and true way to quickly and easily get a fire started, it's so important. And just go with the gold standard, the Bic lighters. You go on Amazon for uh, nine fifty five. You can get uh, one, two, three, four, five of them. Yeesh. Yeah. So uh, that's not a bad deal. No, that's not so, a bad deal at all. And again, lighter goes in all categories, but we put it in EDC. Yeah. So, um, on to like. Also, like Bivy and Mylar, mm-hmm. just get a poncho. Yeah, sure. Because they're way easy to just. The thing I like about ponchos is they're super baggy, so you can keep your bag on, pull your poncho over, and you have mm-hmm. all of your gear and yourself protected from the elements. Yeah. Um, they're they're dirt cheap. Like at Walmart, I think you can get um in their camping aisle. Their ponchos are like a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine. Holy jeez. Um, Harbor Freight has one for two ninety nine. It's mm-hmm. a little thicker. Um. On Amazon, I, I found a pack of five for, uh, it was like nine ninety eight or mm-hmm. something like that. Walmart has also like a, a thicker camo style, like mm-hmm. better bug out style or one that you could kind of smash into a little EDC bag um, for seven ninety nine. Nice. So um, ponchos are nice though. I mean, yeah. you're not going to wrap a Mylar bag around no. you or blanket around you every time it rains. So just we got, get a tiny poncho. We got a nicer one in a battle box years ago and i keep it in my truck the just, poncho yeah poncho that's so, not the one or no that one was from survival frog that you could tuck all the crap like oh yeah that's a different the, one yeah all the like yeah. grass and stuff to pad it, wasn't it up that one no <laughs> number 21 paracord yes you guys this is like the prepper's wet dream item every like preppers love paracord <laughs> you know what i mean you gotta have cordage for a million did different things. Paracord? Yes, I did. Uh, shelter building, fishing, hunting, gear repairs, first aid, fire starting. There's a million uses for this stuff. Um, you can grab something that has some paracord plus like a small survival kit. Um, you at, from like uh, f- survival frog for like ten bucks. So that's pretty good. Or that is good. or you can go for like the straight up survival like amazon basics uh paracord you can get a hundred feet for 684 holy yeah so that's, uh, that, that's gonna go a long way it is you can go right? 100 feet plus 100 feet plus so anyways the, it's so cheap and it's just a great addition to all your preps you could cut up that in thirds put some in your bug out bag put some on your edc kit put some in your house for seven bucks under ten dollars you're good to go for quite a while that's so, yeah anyways that's a sweet one paracord Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, twenty two, mm-hmm. twenty two OTC meds. Mm-hmm. So maybe you're like Kobe, and all you need is <laughs> ibuprofen. That's all I need for everything. That's all. It's five hundred tabs mm-hmm. bottle from Amazon for ten bucks. That's not bad. Twenty four count of Advil, five dollars. Um, or like what's the difference there? Is there a big difference? The coating. Is that it? It's like safer. For, yeah, it's oh. easier on your stomach. <laughs> That's it. Advil care. has a little better buffer. Mm. But if you wanted like multiple bottles, mm-hmm. you can go to the dollar store. Mm, yeah. And they have like, actually, I'll have to say the dollar store has a pretty impressive medical yeah. selection. Yeah. Like cheap gauze and mm-hmm. it has like Q-tips and all that stuff. But. Yeah. Their medicines, I'm a little leery. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, is I this don't real know, medicine? Like, all of them have probably been recalled and relabeled and yeah. put back on the shelf. Yeah. So, um, yes, you could. You could probably get most of your medicines for, I mean, you get 10 different medicines for less than 10 bucks. It's $1.25 There now, is though. a pack um, on Amazon that I thought was pretty awesome, and it's from um, Rescue Essentials. Oh, yeah. And it makes a pack, the Medications Unit Dose Pack. Has mm. six packs of ibuprofen, has two pills in each pack, 
has four aspirin two packs, has six antihistamine caplets, mm. has six acetaminophen caplets, four antidiarrheal, and four antacids. That's an awesome like sealed pouch. Yeah. That has all of them, and it's six ninety nine. Wow. That's a pretty sweet one because you could you could break up some of those packs to distribute through your other bags. Yeah, for sure. So Rescue Essentials Medications Unit Dose Pack. Oh, nice. That I one's like awesome. That. Yeah, I like so, that. So that's, that's not, I mean, seven bucks there. And again, OTC meds, they can be used more than just emergency situations. Right. You're going to use that stuff all the time. Number 23. Multi tool, yeah. Good luck finding a good multi tool for under ten bucks, right? <laughs> it's not easy. I dug around forever on that one too. I was like, yeah. Come on. So Cam did find one. He found. The, I thought that one was kind of cool. The Night Eyes Doohickey. Yeah, it's called. Uh, it's like six forty nine, and it has. Um, it's it's tiny. The thing is, it's like a carabiner clip style. Right, it has like a flathead screwdriver, or the nail puller. It has a serrated edge, bottle opener, wrench, all that kind of stuff. But it's night eyes, and they they do make pretty good stuff. So for that price, I think that's probably good. So, th- but then I did go on Amazon and found like a like an actual opening multi tool <laughs> for six fifty one. It's called Camping Tool Fishing Pliers Portable Pocket <laughs> Multi Function Tool. Um, it's, so anyways it, let me see how that one it's looks. not like it's not gonna be amazing but it, it is a multi-tool and it's only six oh that one's actually I mean it folds and everything yeah like a little mini Leatherman type yeah it's, it's a Leatherman style but not I'm sure you first like <laughs> not Leatherman quality but you can get one for under 10 bucks and if you're just looking for something to throw in your vehicle or throw in your bag and you're not gonna use it that often why yeah. not go for it yeah that's a good you deal know? yeah Um. so first aid kit yeah. And this is against mostly what we had talked about on the yeah. first aid kit episode. It is, yeah. Don't buy anything cheap. Um, but they're like Coleman, I I've, I've used their mm-hmm. first aid kits and they're they're pretty decent. I think this is the one that I've chosen for my hundred dollar kit I think it was. a couple of times. Yeah. So Coleman twenty seven piece kit is six bucks. Mm-hmm. It's like five ninety eight or something. Yep. That's I mean, of all the ones I looked at, because you can get, you know, 200 medical supplies for $10 from yeah. uh, who knows. Um, but this one I really liked because um, it's a tiny little tin can. Yep. And it has 27 different pieces. got alcohol wipes, has Band-Aids in it, and, and pretty much everything you need for like a, a, a day or two pack mm-hmm. um, for you. And I mean. That's- 550. Five fifty. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a steal, man. But again, it's got like thirty five hundred reviews and it's four and a half stars. Yeah. So so, of all the ones I've looked at, this is the best deal yeah. for what you get in terms of like a little better quality. Plus, you got that little tin can. You know. Yeah, you can you use know. it for other stuff. So, um, that's for the first aid kit. Nice. The other thing, uh, oh, I guess, is moving on to a new list. Mm-hmm. So, vehicle and bug out vehicle supplies. Yes. So, your uh, vehicle kit or just gear you're going to throw into your bug out or in your bug out vehicle number 25 glow sticks yep so the best quality glow stick that i could find and it's a single stick but because everybody's bought those dollar store ones and that like as soon work. as they crack open and, and the glow they're done in like 35 seconds yes um the night eyes makes a high quality one it, it's kind of it's got a little string on it and it's a little bit bigger and you know and it and it lasts for a few hours it's eight dollars. Nice, um, but these are really useful for you know camping. You can hang them up in your tent um, or your cave or whatever you want to put them up in. <laughs> hey, I you put them in my cave. <laughs> they even have mini ones. Uh, they're night eyes, four bucks. Yeah. Oh yeah. So the nice thing too is like if you're traveling in a group by night, you can mm-hmm. like you know put them on your the backs of your bags so you can kind of see where yeah. each other are. Um, and the other thing is and. I've been told this search and rescue really likes when they have glow sticks because they stand out big time with their night vision. Yeah. So for search and rescue, um, it's, it's a great idea to have a glow stick. Even if you have flashlights and all that to have one of those in your bag because they can spot them easier. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So $8 for a nice glow stick or a smaller pack of multiple ones for less than $10 is a great deal there. That's a really good deal. We go to number 26, and this one obviously could have been put in any of these categories, but it's a headlamp. I don't I, I put it in this category because I always keep one like in the 
in the slot on my door in my yeah. truck because it seems like it's always like I'll, I'll drop something or I'm, I'm working on the truck or I'm, I'm trying to do something out, out at night and I need the headlamp. And so it's nice just to have right there. And for a bug out vehicle, I think it's a great idea. Obviously, you have to have illumination. It's dark half the day, guys. Um, right. Yeah, whether you're out like fixing your vehicle on the side of the road or maybe you're bugging out in the wilderness at night, having like that hands-free light, it's a, it's a luxury in those situations. So usually... In this situation, I would say opt for a more expensive option. But that's just not what we're doing today. We're trying to find stuff that is less expensive, that's under that $10 mark, because sometimes that's what you're looking for. You just want to find something that's a little less expensive. Um, I did so much searching to find something that works. I found this one on Amazon. It's the Coos Coos head LED headlamp, and it comes with a carrying case, and it has... Over 3,000 reviews, and it's a four and a half stars. How much was it? Six ninety nine. dollars Holy crap. Um, yeah, so like, I was like, this actually looks like a pretty dang good deal. Kozus? Uh, yeah, it's, I've got the link in there. You can just click it. But um, but it's, uh, and it comes with a little case. So again, you can find oh, stuff yeah. that's not bad for under 10 bucks. Man, six ninety nine. that's a good deal. I, I don't know, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's insane. And uh, usually I don't trust those, but with 3,000 reviews, it's nope, hard yeah. not to trust it there. You know what I mean? So, a lot of fakes. Yeah. So anyways, the headlamp. Yeah. Under um, 10 bucks. Number 27, zip ties. Oh, yeah. Always a good use for those. You yeah. know, secure your shelter down, mm-hmm. fix bags, um, secure people and pets, you know, whatever. Pets. There's a lot of use for these. Yeah. Um, and zip tie your cat's feet together. <laughs> Yeah. Right, ship die their nuts, let them fall. And my dad's like, put a rubber oh, band yeah. around his nuts. Know, That's yeah. how you castrate a cow. I'm sorry if you are a, <laughs> a cat lover. A cat lover. That's just mm-hmm. what my dad did. He didn't do that anymore. Okay. Yep. Um. But cable zip ties. You can get a 400 pack of black zip ties that have 12, 8, 6, and 4 inch uh-huh. lengths for um 7.99. Nice. That's so, a good deal. Um. I haven't really found, like, there's some cheap, I've gotten all kinds of different zip ties, and for mm-hmm. the most part, they all hold up about the same. Yeah. Like, they weather worse outside, mm-hmm. but they're going to hold. So, um, that's a great deal. 400 pack, and you can just kind of put little, the smaller ones, like, I even have some in my uh, uh, Wazoo gear belt, the oh, cash yeah. belt. Yep. Yeah. I have, like, a, like, two of the smaller ones, like, folded up in there, so. I keep some in my EDC bag. Man. Yeah, they're super useful. All kinds of different good things to do with those, I'll tell yeah. you. So, anyways, you can get a 400 pack on Amazon for seven bucks. Sweet. Number 28, auto escape oh, tool. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Such, uh, such an essential item for any vehicle. I think every single vehicle should have an auto escape tool. Your vehicle safety is so important. You have Car crashes, they happen so I've often. I've never had to bust a window out, but I heard it's super hard. It's not easy. Yeah. yeah. Until you're not trying to, probably. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, car crashes, they happen. They're very common. It's one of those emergencies that we're probably going to face <laughs> like at some point. Trying to, no... <laughs> you know what I mean? Hold yeah. that window up. You need to fix it. And it's like... I, I had in my old Jeep... Liber- Break inside it? I had it like the... the Rolled, the pulley system yeah, broke. broke and it just yep, I had it happen through. to my So it was too. stuck, but I could push it up, and I was pushing it up, and it just cracked. Oh, like just, just the yeah. pressure? <laughs> mm-hmm. So, of course. Yeah, of course. You know, being trapped in your vehicle, whether it's on fire or it's sinking in the water, that's obviously very bad. So a vehicle escape tool is inexpensive, and it's it's really important, but you can, it has, usually these tools have two main functions. One is a seatbelt cutter, on them. Mm -hmm. The other is a a window breaker, right? So, because you got to get out. So, the one that I think everybody should look at for this price range is the Rescue Me Original Emergency Keychain Car Escape Tool. It has a seatbelt cutter and it has a window breaker. This this is actually one that we got through BattleBox a long time ago, but it's a really good price right now on Amazon at $8.75. And they're tiny. And the freaking... That's cool. Don't push the button and have your thumb on the end of it because it freaking hurts. You remember <laughs> oh, yeah, that? Yeah. I've done it. <laughs> have you tried it on your tooth? And I didn't try it on my tooth because I probably wouldn't have a tooth if I did. That'd be so painful. Oh my gosh, that's the worst thing I can um, think of. Do you remember when people used to take the top of the lighter out and shock you? You, know, oh, you yeah, could take yeah, the, mm-hmm. the and you just push the button yeah. on those electric ones. I did that once and I was like, I'm gonna put on my tooth. It hurt for like ever. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I, I, I was bet. thinking because I wanted to see like the little bolt. I'm like, watch yeah. this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I think it killed the root. Yeah, I bet you did. 
But um, yeah. Anyways, that's that's awesome. I forgot about those. Mm-hmm. Um, that little that little charge one. Didn't we get that? Um, it's it's got a clip on it too, right? Mm-hmm. And that cuts yeah. the seat belt. Yeah. That's a good deal there. It's a really good deal for eight bucks. Because I have bucks. the like the whole hammer one, mm-hmm. and I can't get it. it like it, it falls off the little, yeah. um, the sticky like brace. I've got bracket. a stat gear one. It's actually a knife and that goes on my uh, visor. Yes, yeah, and that's it has what a I thing need. on the end of it that you can, you know. So, yeah, and it flips out real fast, and it has like the hook to oh, cut your thing nice. off. You know, I've got just one in the little pack that sits in my door, but yeah. I'd want one that's up high. Yep. Anyway, um. The next one is a paper map. Twenty nine. So we talked about doing, um, we talked about doing, you know, uh, compass and all that. Mm-hmm. You need to know how to navigate a map, yeah. and to have a map even of your own town is a good idea because when you're like, if you think about bugging out mm-hmm. and kind of you know following through with some disaster you're going to be like circling on the map and marking spots that are like roadblocks here and you know yeah. don't go in here so you really should get a paper map if you go to the map shop you a can get shop. a map of any major city oh, nice. for 6.99 oh sweet yeah that's great and so um or you just go to uh your your local tourist center they usually it, give you one you can just get one yeah so getting one of your own town is a really good idea. Um, I think any- a state map too is a good idea. Yeah. Yep. And um, so yeah, check out the map shop. They have anywhere. And if you're traveling somewhere and you're going to be there for some time, it, it's a good idea. Um, I mean, honestly, I have never done that, but mm-hmm. it, it makes sense. I've downloaded maps on my phone yeah. when I've gone to different mm-hmm. places, but if you lose the ability to use your phone, you're SOL. So. Yes, sir. Anyways. Um, I like that. Paper map. It's easy. Might be even cheap. Or maybe even free. Yeah. But um, definitely under 10 bucks, though. Definitely under 10 bucks. Yeah. Should be. Don't pay for any more. Don't pay more than that. Number 30, our last item is a tarp. Oh, yeah. Like, holy crap. How many tarp? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty easy to find, huh? Yeah, man. I mean, tarps are so, there's so many survival uses, shelters, you know, warmth, water, fishing, cordage, uh, carrying stuff. I mean, there's like a million things you can do with it. Really um, and I found one on Amazon that's pretty good. It's actually a uh, tan camouflage print, which is kind of cool. 10 bucks. It's that would match eight, around here. I know. Eight by 10 uh, for 10 bucks. So anyways, you can't, there's obviously a ton of them. That's an eight. Yeah. Yeah. It's an eight by 10. So a lot of them are usually smaller like than four that. by six. Like, yeah. Like, like a, four by six. And they're like the blue f- flavors, you mm-hmm. know, but this one they is, just disintegrate when yeah. you have them flapping yeah. around in the wind. Yeah. They end up fraying and looking like, you know, fringe <laughs> on all the ends of it. <laughs> like, so, yeah. but yeah, tarp is, is, is 10 bucks, man. And that's a huge, huge, uh, plus to your, uh, prepper stockpile for sure. Right. Um, Another thing you can get, probably going to be more than 10 bucks, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be way worth it. Element. If you didn't know, electrolyte deficiency or imbalances can cause headaches, cramps, fatigue, weakness, all the things I'm feeling right now because I haven't had one today. <laughs> all, as people who want to be prepared and ready for anything, the last thing you need is something that will slow you down when you need to be ready the most. That's why we at Casual Preppers have teamed up with Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. It's formulated to help anyone with their electrolyte needs and is perfectly suited to folks with following a keto low carb or paleo diet. We think Element is perfect for bug out bags and EDC kits. It contains a science backed electrolyte ratio, a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Casual Preppers listeners can get a free Element sample pack when you make any purchase through our exclusive Casual Preppers link. The Element sample pack includes one of every flavor. It's beautiful. They offer no questions asked refunds on all orders. You don't even have to send it back. It's nuts. This is my favorite part, though. The offer may be claimed by first-time and returning Element customers. Every time you buy it, you can get this sample pack, and it has all the flavors. It's so cool. This is only through our link. You're not going to get this anywhere else, you guys. Head to drinkelement.com. That's L-M-N-T.com slash casual preppers. Get your order and your free sample pack. That is drinkelement.com slash casual preppers. That's such a good sponsor. Oh, it's it's so good. They're great. They're fantastic. We love them. Element. All, All right. right. We, got, we have some reviews. We right, do. Cameron? We do. Going we gear. Going gear. EDC Club. Yeah, man, they always have some They great got great stuff. stuff. 
The first item in the box is the White River Knife and Tool M1 Backpacker Pro. Look at this fancy box. I know, man. Fire starter right there. Man. Mmm, that's real wood. It smells delicious. It's even got wood in it. No, no, it's crazy, huh? That's a cool little Great blade. little knife, yeah. Then we have the Phoenix Flashlights T6 Tactical Pen Light. And I want to just claim this right now, but... Where at? It's a... What's it? Who makes it? Phoenix Flashlights Tactical Pen Light. Oh, it fell out. <laughs> it fell out. I saw about that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That is really cool. So it's a pen and a flashlight? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Then we have the Best Techmon Ronin. Um, it's a cool little uh, budget. I thought this was a deck of folding. cards when I first looked at it. Oh, that is a good looking knife. Yeah, nice little folding knife. And right? It's got a lock on it. Yes, sir. Oh, ah! <laughs> Cut my finger off. <laughs> then we have the Kershaw Dune. This is a crazy looking neck knife, man. It looks like a sword. Wow, that is cool. It's kind of cool. Huh? Katana looking. Yeah. That's cool. And it's a Kershaw. So Dune. that's cool. And the last item is the Tech Accessories Aluminum Glow Fob. So that's one of those suckers. That, uh, Speaking of glowing. <laughs> that'll make you glow. So that's the latest uh, Going Gear EDC Club. Cool. And we also have the latest Tech Pack. Tech Pack, Tech Pack, Tech Pack. Here you go. Okay, the first item in the Tech Pack is the Gerber Air Ranger Folding Knife. Oh, I actually like the little... I know, it's a cool-looking scales on that thing, huh? It's pretty cool. Yeah, and then we have the Amend 2 Self-Defense Pen. This is uh looks like a pen, it looks like a thing, but it's it's it got a sharpie sharp sharp in there. Is it not a pen? Then it's a knife. It's a it's not a knife. Like a it's, blade. It's not. I don't think it's a blade. I think it's a uh, a pokey. You know what I mean? Yeah. Open her up. You can see. <laughs> Do you know how to open it? <laughs> Get her out of there. See? Oh, weird. It's like it looks like graphite. Yeah. That's, That's mean. That'll hurt. Then we have the Steel City Arsenal Trigger Guard. Trigger Guard. Trigger Guard. And then we have the it? Allen yep. handgun case. Got to oh, have a, right here. Got to have a case for your handguns. That's a nice case. It is real nice. I know. Nice. APS gas block assembly jig. Mm. I just said lots of words. <laughs> um <laughs> You know? Somebody's like, oh, oh, gas block assembly jig. Say that again. Then we have the Glockzilla sticker. <laughs> Use our code. That one's cool. Cash your preppers, you're going to go free stuff. Good old tack bag. Hey, good old tack bag. It's time for the quick and dirty medical tip. All right, so this is going to be quick because I wanted to just go over these two lists. Make it quick, make it dirty. And we're done. Mm-hmm. But um, these two lists are items that are most used first in hospitals. Oh. In the U.S. and second are over the counter. Okay, and it just helps us. Like I just figured it would help to realize like what you should stock up on, prioritize, and have because if these are used the most mm-hmm. and they become they're the most likely to have shortages, mm-hmm. you won't get yeah. stocked up on these. So top ten medical consumables: alcohol swabs, mm-hmm. body wipes. Oh, really? Ear thermometer probe covers. Not so much something you need. Yeah. Medicine cups, you know, the little, yeah. like, sacrament cups, but for hospitals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The kidney uh, dishes. Those are, like, the little kidney shape, like, where they spit into They put you. your kidney in and yeah, they take it out. Exactly. <laughs> so, if you're going to switch out those kidneys, you, gotta you don't want to have a dish. dish. Uh, is that God. a gravy bowl or a kidney dish? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Your out. kidney ain't going to fit in there. <laughs> Um, gauze swabs, good swab gauze. sticks, swabs. cotton wool balls, just cotton balls. <laughs> I'm getting hot listening to this. <laughs> Adult diapers. Oh, baby. <laughs> Come on. Adult diapers. Yeah. And then hypodermic needles, obviously. Yeah. Nice. Now, um, according to Washington, D.C. based nonprofit Consumer Healthcare Protection Association, <laughs> okay. the top selling over the counter drug categories number one, upper respiratory meds. Okay. You know, uh, decongestants, allergies, stuff like that. Mucinex? Yes. Second, oral analgesics, mm-hmm. uh, ibuprofen, Tylenol, all those. That's oral. number two. And this was like in millions. Like it was like a hundred and it was ridiculous how, how much we spend on this stuff. Wow, but. Um, number three, heartburn medicines. Oh. Number four, antiperspirant. I didn't think that would be like a top one, but I'm and, glad and it is. Everybody needs deodorant. I'm glad it is. Number five, toothpaste. Yeah. Number six, oral antiseptics and rinses, hmm. like uh, Listerine and all that. Yeah. Seven, laxatives. Oh, yeah. Stop poop. the pooping, make the pooping. Make the pooping. Um, 
I think oh I, I don't I don't see any for uh diarrhea in here. No. That's surprising. It is. Uh number eight, just general first aid like band aids and yeah. gauze and stuff like that. Number nine, lip and oral treatment. Mm. Mm, oral treatment. Hello. Number ten, sun protection. Oh. So that take that nice. list and see if you have enough of it yeah. and backups of it because if it's the most consumed, it's gonna go fast. That's a good that's a good list. I like that. Yeah. That'd be useful. That's it, guys. That's Go buy some stuff under ten bucks. You, you, if you bought every one of these, you'd only spend three hundred dollars. <laughs> I thought about that too. <laughs> right? That's easy. It's easy. Yeah. Cheapo. Cheapo. <laughs> <laughs> easy enough. Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Stay survived.